50 years, Georgia Highlands College has been a community that takes charge. Today, GHC is focused on the success of over 6,000 students each year and remains one of the most affordable colleges in the state and country. Home to high quality curriculum, award-winning student organizations, a championship athletic program, and renowned faculty and staff. At GHC, we have a mission, to provide access to an outstanding education, meeting the career needs of the region, and helping our communities thrive today, tomorrow, and forever. Every student we graduate becomes a celebration we never forget. We are more than chargers. We are chargers taking charge. For 50 years and beyond. for your success at GHC. What are you waiting for? Apply now at highlands.edu. Down, say hut. Practice doesn't always make things perfect, but it gives us some quality family time that can never be replaced. We find time to laugh, time to talk, and time to bond. Onward by Club Car, made for life's most memorable moments. Georgia Highlands College has got you covered. With more in-person, remote, and hybrid class options than ever before, you can take classes the way you want from virtually anywhere. Now is your chance to take charge at GHC. Apply now at highlands.edu. nice sunny day which was a great relief after just really pretty cruddy weather that we've had the last couple of days so it's nice even though it was cold to get to see the sunshine for a little bit today and we've had some fun basketball here tonight we're looking forward to our nightcap it's the Chattooga Indians as the number one seed of the tournament overall hosting the Coosa Eagles and these are two teams that obviously being in the same region have played each other a couple of times this year the first time was a win for Chattooga at Coosa High School. Uh, it was 43 to 40, so a three-point game. The second time was a game here at Chattooga, and it was a four-point game, 48 to 44. So don't let the fact that Chattooga's the number one seed playing a four seed, and Chattooga's a team that's 16 and two and 12 and 0 in region play, and Coosa's 13 and 10, six and six in region play. Don't let that fool you into thinking that this is not going to be an excellent basketball game because there's no doubt these two teams have had some battles already this season and Kusa is thankful for another opportunity to have a crack at uh, being the first team out of the region to defeat Chattooga this season. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun and of course both these teams are very well coached. You've got Jared Gross, the head coach of the Chattooga Indians, 
Coosa Eagles longtime coach is John McFather. And so it's going to be interesting to watch these two teams and two, two coaches go head to head here tonight for this basketball game. So we are just about ready to go, folks. So we'll get ready to give you the starting lineups of this final game of the evening. Do want to remind everybody that coming up tomorrow evening, we're going to be back here in the friendly confines of the Tri Pride Arena to bring you more basketball. We'll have two consolation games for you. And we'll have the championship games for you as well. So we'll get started at the same time as we did today. We'll have games at 4, 5.30 with the consolation games. And then at 7 and 8.30, we'll have the championship games. So here's the starting lineups. We'll start with the Coosa Eagles again. Head coach is John McFather. We'll start with number, number three, uh, Terry Curry. Number 12, Sam Richardson. Number 23, who is Keyshawn Kindred and number 24 Jacquez Morgan and then the fifth starter for the Coosa Eagles and I forgot to mark it in my book so I apologize for that I'll go back and refer to my picture of the starting lineup the fifth starter is going to be Josh Dixon number 45 now we'll go on to the home team tonight the Chattooga Indians head coach is Jared Gross as I mentioned earlier Number zero, L.A. Riley. Number three, Damian Smith. Number five, Cash Allen. Fans are going to go crazy when they hear that name, no question about it. Number 23, Jalen Johnson. And number 24, Sean Lester. So that's your starting five for each of these teams here tonight. And we are just about ready to roll from inside the Tribe Pride Arena now. As far as COVID-19 protocols are concerned, and I mentioned this over the course of the season, but we'll mention it as we're about to start this game, there's no tip-off in the state of Georgia in GHSA basketball, so the visiting team will open up with the ball on offense, and in this case, it's going to be Kusa. And by the way, kusa has got their gray uniforms with black letters and numbers with white trim. Uh, Good-looking uniforms. I like those grays, real dark gray. And then with Chattooga, they got their white uniforms with black and red trim with red numbers, black letters, and the numbers have black trim around them. So right out of the gate, Kusa turns it over, and Chattooga is going to have the ball here with 10 seconds elapsed here in our first quarter. So Chattooga will inbound it to Cash Allen. Cash Allen feeds it back to Jalen Johnson. Johnson dribbles off to the left wing side. They hit it around to Lester. Now to the left wing side, and we're going to have a turnover and a foul that's going to be charged against the Chattooga Indians. So Coos is going to get the ball back. So both teams have turned it over to open this game. They're going to get Cash Allen with that foul. And the Eagles have got the ball. They'll go across the timeline. Curry going to feed it off to the right wing side, and Bryson Thacker. Now the feed off to the left wing side, back over to Curry. He'll dribble up top with it. Now back around the perimeter, Richardson. Now the left wing side. Morgan has got it. Now back up top to Curry. He'll dribble out back around the timeline. We've almost played a minute. Both teams just kind of feeling each other out. Ball is stolen away by Jalen Johnson. Certainly going to hear his name called a lot in this basketball game. Over to Lester on the right wing side, back up to Johnson. Now here to the near side they go. Inside, shot up by Riley. He's going to be missed. Rebound's going to be taken by Kusa. And it'll be picked up around the timeline by Richardson, who fires it off to the left wing side. And Terry Curry, he'll dribble back up to the top of the key and work his way around Johnson. Pick set. They get it down low, shot up, missed. And jumping up to grab a board is Cash Allen. He'll give it off to Jalen Johnson who will cross the timeline here for the Chattooga Indians. Off to Lester. Back up top. They go to Smith. Now to the corner and a corner three attempt by Johnson. Missed. Lester puts up a two-point shot. It'll be missed. Ball's loose on the floor. It'll be picked up by the Chattooga Indians after a battle for it. There's Lester going in trying to shoot, and it'll be tied up. So that's going to be a jump ball called, and the ball is going to stay with the Chattooga Indians. So we've got 6-11 left here in the first quarter. Nobody has scored yet. Kind of an interesting start to this basketball game. Sean Lester ready to 
Lester ready to feed it in. He gets it into Allen. Allen gives it over to Riley. Down low, there is Johnson. The shot is missed, gets his own rebound, battles back, and lays it in. Jalen Johnson, man. I've seen this kid play several times this year, and he is one of the best basketball players I've seen play high school basketball in a while. He is something. Cusa with the ball. They try to pass it across the court. It's picked off by Lester down to Johnson. Off the glass and in. 4-0 run to start the game here for Chatuga. Johnson with both baskets. cusa has got the ball. Richardson across the timeline. Joseph Richardson. Now they feed it off towards the right wing side. It's last touched by Chatuga as it sails out of bounds. So the Eagles set to inbound the ball on their side of the floor. From the sidelines here on the near side. They're working from left to right, by the way. So Kusa with the basketball. Richardson with it in his hands at the top of the key, being guarded by Johnson. He'll pick it up and pass it on to his teammate, Bryson Thacker. Thacker back up top to Morgan. Morgan spins around and into the paint, shoots. He misses, but he does get fouled and is going to go to the charity stripe. So L.A. Riley picks up his first foul, and Jacquez Morgan's going to be at the free throw line shooting two. Jatuga leading at four to zero. 5-12 remaining first period. Here's the first free throw from Morgan. He knocks it down. He'll get ready for his second. That cuts it to a three-point basketball game. So all but one matchup that will be played tomorrow, well, two, I should say, are set. Here comes the next free throw, and he'll knock that one down. So that cuts it to a two-point game. Chattooga with the ball. They'll bring it down the floor in the hands of Jalen Johnson. Crosses the timeline. Passes it off to the left wing side. Gets it to Smith. He'll dribble back up top with it. Fires it to the right wing side where Johnson is already on the other side. Allen leaps for it. Ball's loose on the floor. It's going to be eventually picked up by Sam Richardson of Kusa. And now they get it down the other end. Great pass inside by Joseph Richardson down to Josh Dixon. And Dixon with the finish to tie up the ball game for a piece. Jalen Johnson across the timeline dribbles left. Gives it off to Sean Lester. Now up to Smith. To the right wing side they go to Johnson. Johnson takes a step back, puts up a long range three, misses. But the putback is going to carry him off the rim no good for Lester, and here comes Kusa the other way, Thacker. Thacker across the timeline, leaves it off for Joseph Richardson. Richardson with it around the top of the key. He'll dribble right, now goes back left, puts up a jump shot from the free throw line off the back of the rim, no good, and Cash Allen's there to pull down the rebound. Across the timeline goes Smith, off to the right wing side, they pass it to Johnson. Johnson dribbles around. Gives it over to Sean Lester. They feed it down low to Smith, back out to Lester. And Lester's going to back his way up to center court and reset the offense. Dribbles back in, shoots from the free throw line just beyond it, banks it in off the glass. Nobody picked him up on defense, and he made a pretty easy basket. Six to four. Chatuga on top by two. Across the timeline goes Joseph Richardson. Richardson on the logo. Now he dribbles right, picks up his dribble. Gives it off to Thacker. Substitution getting ready to check into the game at the next stoppage of play for Chatuga. Battling down low is Morgan. Can't make the shot. Rebound goes to Chatuga. Indians on the other end. There's Smith for a long three. That one won't go. Rebound taken by Morgan. And Jacquez Morgan's going to bring it down the floor, leaving it for Joseph Richardson. And we've got an equipment issue here with Morgan. He's going to have to tie his shoe, so the official calls a timeout. Right now, your score is 6-4 to four in favor of Chatuga. We're going to keep it right here. And we're glad you're with us on WLAQ. If you've not done so already, if you're watching on the video stream, make sure to smash that subscribe button so you can stay in touch with what's going on with us. Also, follow us and like us on Twitter and Facebook, WLAQ Rome. Ball's at the top of the key for Cusa. They try to get it down low. And we got a whistle. Tell you who, all, who all's on the floor in just a couple of moments. Cusa set to feed it in from the baseline. They get it into Morgan. 
puts it in off the inbound pass. So Morgan makes his second. Well, actually, he's got four points, two free throws, and one field goal. In off the bench for Chattooga. I'm going to have to check that number. I think it's Mobs, but I had him as 12, so i got to double check on that. But I believe it's Mobs. Anyway, back up top they go. They get it into Smith. And now they'll back up and reset the offense. Smith's going to get it down low to Johnson. Dribbles into the low block. Shoots it underneath, but he travels. And that'll be a turnover for the Indians. We're tied up at six. And number 13 is indeed Brody Mobs. Thank you to Nathan for the assist over there. Teamwork makes the dream work. Davis in the game here, Aaron Davis for the Coosa Eagles. He's across the timeline dribbling right between the legs. He dribbles back up top to Thacker. Fakes, goes in, tries to pass it to another teammate. Mobs picks it off. They feed it down to Johnson, and he picks up a pretty easy layup. And as I always say, easy for me to say. Oh, my goodness. Eight to six, you score. It's two on top by two. This has been fun so far. 140 left here in the first period. Joseph Richardson dribbles in, puts up the shot, caroms off the rim. Rebound picked up by Johnson and Chattooga. He's going to feed it down to Smith. Smith with a no-look pass to Mobs. Back to Smith, dribbles behind his back. Now he'll go back up to the top of the key. Now to Johnson, three-point look, knocks it down. Young man's on fire. He's got nine points. He's tough to defend. 11 to six, your score. Five-point lead now for Chattooga. Kusa dribbles in, in the hands of Joseph Richardson. Now Richardson backs up to around the timeline and Kusa turns the ball over. And it looked like Richardson just hung on to the ball a bit too long. Gonna have a substitution into the game for Joseph Richardson. We'll tell you who all's on the floor in just a moment. They beat it into Johnson. For Chattooga, I can tell you right now, it's uh, Damian Smith, Jalen Johnson, Brody Mobs, Cash Allen, and Sean Lester. I'll give you Kusa's names in just a minute. Long three-point look. That was Damian Smith with his first basket of the game, and just like that, Chattooga's up 14-6 to six with 40 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Kusa with the basketball. It's in the hands of Ashton Williams, who's in off the bench. He'll dribble back across the logo at center court. Dribbles down towards the paint, loses the handle, trips, ends up on the floor. Jalen Johnson with the ball, goes in, pump fakes, shoots, scores, and makes it look easy. 11 points for Johnson, 16 to six. Chattooga up by 10. Ball is passed over to the right wing side to Morgan. Now on to the left wing. There's a jump shot. Three-point look. Knocks it down. That's a big one for Sam Richardson and the Coosa Eagles right there before the buzzer to end our first quarter. So at the end of our first quarter, the Chattooga, excuse me, the Chattooga Indians lead it 16-9 over the Coosa Eagles. We'll step out for one minute. We'll be back. Right here. Take charge of your future at GHC. Apply now at highlands.edu. your success at GHC. What are you waiting for? Apply now at highlands.edu. And Kusa will open up with possession of the basketball to start our second quarter of play. 
So to inbound the ball is Terry Curry. He's going to feed it in to Bryson Thacker. Now back to Curry. Curry on the logo. Now he's going to pass it away. They give it up top. There's Morgan for three and knocks it down. Good looking shot by ja Jaquez Morgan. He's got seven points. And that cuts it to four points. That makes it look a lot different on the scoreboard, no doubt about it. Looked like there for a minute. Chatuga was really going to start digging Kusa quite a massive hole. But right now, Kusa's charging back. Here's Cash Allen down low. He'll feed it down to Riley, who's able to put it in. Rattles around the rim and goes in for his first basket of the game. It's 18 to 12, six point Chatuga lead. 7 19 left second quarter. Kusa with the basketball. Curry's got it. Gives it off to Thacker. Thacker looking for a teammate. He's going to find Curry. They feed it inside to Morgan, trying to get him open. He'll have to kick it back out to Curry as he was well covered up in the paint. Thacker with it up top. Now he's going to give it over to Curry. We're under seven minutes to play here in the second quarter. Ball almost stolen away by Mobs. There's a jump shot for Kusa's. Sam Richardson, he's got five points in the game, and that cuts it back to four. Chatuga 18, Kusa 14. This is a boys' semifinal game. The winner of this will face Model for the region championship tomorrow night at 8.30. And no matter which team it is, it is going to be an intense matchup. Obviously, Kusa and Model cross-county rivals, and then... There's quite a rivalry going right now between the model and the Chattooga boys teams as well. They get it down low to Morgan. And we're going to have a jump ball. That's going to be called possession arrows going with Chattooga. And a few blue birds come out, but not a whole lot of protest. But they're going to feed it in to Cash Allen. Cash Allen gives it right back to Jalen Johnson. Johnson directing traffic. He'll toss it back to Sean Lester. And Lester's going to bring it across the timeline, give it back to Johnson. Lester broke for the basket. They get it down low to Allen, who feeds it to Riley. Back to Lester and in the hoop. Great sequence there by the Jatuga Indians. An unselfish play, moving the ball around, creating the open look and getting the score. 20 to 14, six point lead here for Chatuga. Pusa with the basketball. Curry with it up top. He's going to feed it off to Thacker on the left wing. They get it on to the left wing side, and they try to get it back to Curry, and it was a little bit too high and sailed over his head and out of bounds. So Chatuga set to inbound the ball. Checking back into the game for Kusa is Aaron Davis. And checking out is going to be Josh Dixon. Lester with the ball here for the Indians. He'll bring it across the timeline, dribbling towards the top of the key. Gives it to Allen, who's at the high screen, the high post, I should say. And there's Lester after a screen was set for him. He's going to leave that one short. Terry Curry fires it to left wing side. There's Thacker for three and knocks it down. Bryson Thacker with the three-point shot, and that cuts it to a three-point game, 20-17. to 17. Chattooga on top, but Kusa closing in. Sean Lester fires it to the right wing side, and Brody mobs. Mobs off to Lester. Lester back to Mobs, thought about the three, had second thoughts, goes into the paint and lays it in. Good job by Brody Mobs. 22 to 17, five point lead now for Chatuga. Aaron Davis across the timeline to Curry. Now to Thacker, wide open long range three, not quite on the mark with that one and Jalen Johnson gets the rebound after the missed shot. Johnson across the timeline for Jatuga, fires left. Mobs goes in, gets blocked by Davis. Ball's knocked out of bounds. So it's going to stay with the Chatuga Indians. Checking in is Damian Smith. Checking out for Chatuga is Sean Lester. So now on the floor for Chatuga, you've got Mobs, Allen, Johnson, Smith, and Riley. They're going to fire it in to Allen. Now to Riley down low to Johnson. He'll turn, shoot. Karam's off the rim and out. Davis is there for the rebound for Kusa. He gives it to Jaquez Morgan. They pass to the right wing side of Thacker. Ball is stolen away from Richardson after he just received a pass. Here's Johnson, misses a layup. Rebound is going to be taken by Riley to Smith, to Mobs, to the hoop, and a miss. 
There for the rebounds, Bryson Thacker for Kusa. Gives it to Joseph Richardson. It goes across the timeline, gives it back to Thacker. Now over to the left wing side, there's a long three. That's going to be off the rim. There's Davis for the rebound. So perhaps a second chance here for Kusa. That's tough to get against this Chattooga team. Joseph Richardson gives it off to Sam Richardson. Richardson with it, passes it. And now the ball is going to go out of bounds on the baseline. Last touch by Chattooga, so it's going to stay with the Coosa Eagles. Checking into the game for Coosa is Zion World. Checking out will be Sam Richardson. So right now, Chattooga 22-17 over the Coosa Eagles. 3.32 left to go in the first half. Coosa set to feed it in. They toss it in to Aaron Davis. Davis on the right wing side picks it up, gives it to Thacker. Now they fire the corner to Zion World off the bench and knocks down a three. Zion World, 22 to 20, a two-point game. Chattooga on top, but narrowly. 3.15 left to go in the first half. Three-pointer on the other side by Johnson is missed. Big opportunity here for Kusa to trail the game. Now they're going to get it off to Richardson. And I got to be specific there, Joseph Richardson. He dribbles right. Picks it up, gives it to Thacker. He puts up a three-point look and knocks it down. And guess what? Kusa's got the lead after Thacker knocks down that three-point shot. 23-22, to and Jared Gross is going to call a timeout. We're going to do the same thing. 2.48 remaining first half. Kusa 23, Chattooga 22. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Well, wherever you're listening, whether it's on the radio at 96.9 FM or 1410 AM, or if you're watching on the WLAQ Sports YouTube stream, hopefully you're not planning on going anywhere because we got us a heck of a basketball game, and you don't want to miss a second of this. And this has been a tremendous amount of fun. But right now, Coos on top, 23-22. to They've been hitting the three ball here in this second quarter. They've knocked down four of them and have been able to overcome a deficit from Chattooga. They were down 16-9 to at the end of the first quarter. And, man, Coos has been on fire here in this second quarter of play. Smith has got the ball. He's got it up at the top of the key. He'll dribble back, reset the offense for the Indians. Indians needing a basket right here. There's a jump shot. He'll knock that one down. That was a very timely basket from Damian Smith. And now Chattooga regains the lead, 24-23. Across the timeline go the Eagles. They'll fire it to the right wing side. Thacker for three. And this time he's going to miss it off the front of the rim. We have another jump ball. And this one's going to be with the Coosa Eagles. So it's going to stay on this side of the floor. I want to take an opportunity here to thank Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales for being our presenting sponsor here of the live coverage on the radio and on the video as well. Ball is going to be stolen away off the inbound pass. Brody Mobs picked it off, went on the other end, shot. He missed the shot, and they call an offensive foul against Mobs. Fans on this side celebrate. Fans on the other side protest. Davis will inbound the pass to Joseph Richardson for Cusa. Cusa trailing by one, brings it up the floor. They give it to Morgan on the right wing side. Now back up top to Davis. He'll dribble around the logo. Now fires off to the right wing side to Thacker. Now back out to Davis. Now on to Richardson, Joseph, uh, Joseph Richardson. He'll pick up his dribble. There's a three-point look for Morgan from downtown. Knocks it down. He's got two threes here in the second quarter. 26 to 24, Kusa back on top. Across the timeline goes Johnson. 
Fires it off to the left wing side. They get it to Smith. He'll dribble back up top. Now gets it down to Allen. Drives in. Tries to shoot. Misses. Ball loose on the floor. And it rolls out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Chattooga Indians. We've got another young man tying his shoes over here. That's going to be Damian Smith. And we'll resume play. Lester checks back into the game for Mobs. Mobs getting some good minutes here for the Chattooga Indians. Right now, Kusa up by two, 26 to 24, 114 left first half. They get it into Cash Allen, talking about Chatuga. Now to Johnson, down low to Lester. That one rolls off the rim, won't go. Goes out of bounds on Kusa, so it's staying with Chatuga. We're at the Tri Pride Arena. This is the last game of the night, fourth game we've had broadcast for you on the radio and on the video stream. And they get it out to Lester, back out to Smith. Smith will dribble off right, goes to the low block on the far side, shoots. And Damian Smith has his second, well, third basket of the night. He's got seven points, knocked down a three in the first quarter. He's got a couple of two-pointers here in the second quarter. And Chattooga lost the handle of it, on it on the other end. And right now one of the officials chatting with Jalen Johnson as Johnson gets ready to inbound the basketball. So we're tied up at 26 apiece, by the way. As Chatuga inbounds the ball, they get it into Allen. He'll toss it back to Johnson, and now he'll give it to Damian Smith. Smith dribbles across the timeline, goes left. Pick set by Allen. Little jump shot. That one's short off the front of the rim. Now back to Smith again for a three this time. It won't go. Backer's there for the rebound. They try to go with an outlet pass cross court, and then Johnson picked it off and got an easy layup. So he's got 13 points in this game, and Johnson proves to continue to be a force. They get it, trying to get it down low, stolen away. Here's Johnson again, feeds it down to Smith. Another easy layup for the Indians, and the Indians are back on top by four. 30 to 26, your score. Four seconds left to go. Cuso not with much time. They put up a shot at the buzzer and miss, and that's the end of our first half. So at the end of, a, of our first half to pl of play, the Chattooga Indians on top, 30 to 26 over the Cusa Eagles. Let's send it back to the studio for a three-minute timeout. We'll be back. It's halftime. Highlands College has been a community that takes charge. Today, GHC is focused on the success of over 6,000 students each year and remains one of the most affordable colleges in the state and country. Home to high quality curriculum, award winning student organizations, a championship athletic program, and renowned faculty and staff. At GHC, we have a mission to provide access to an outstanding education, meeting the career needs of the region, and helping our communities thrive today, tomorrow, and forever. Every student we graduate 
becomes a celebration we never forget. We are more than chargers. We are chargers taking charge for 50 years and beyond. Down, say, ha! Practice doesn't always make things perfect, but it gives us some quality family time that can never be replaced. We find time to laugh, time to talk, and time to bond. Onward by Club Car, made for life's most memorable moments. Fun first half, a fun night of basketball here from the Tri-Pride Arena. This is our nightcap. The Chattooga Indians hosting the Coosa Eagles here in the semifinal game, our last semifinal game of the evening that will determine which team will go on to play model for a region championship tomorrow night in this very gym. So uh, certainly looking forward to that matchup, whichever team ends up coming away with the victory in this game to face model. It's going to be a lot of fun to, to bring that game to you tomorrow. But let's run down the scoring here from the first half, shall we? We'll start with the Coosa Eagles. Right now they trail at halftime by four points, 30 to 26. They would pick up three points from Zion World, hit a three-pointer off the bench in the second quarter. Two points from Josh Dixon. They would have five points from Sam Richardson, six from Bryson Thacker. And Jacquez Morgan would pick up 10 points there in that first half. For the Chattooga Indians, who lead it now by a score 30 to 26, they got two points from L.A. Riley, two from Brody Mobs off the bench, four points from Sean Lester, nine points from Damian Smith, and Jalen Johnson is having himself a game. He's got 13 points. 11 of the 13 came in that first quarter of play. There was a period of time in the second quarter where the shots were not falling for the Chattooga Indians, but they were big time for the Coosa Eagles. In that second quarter, the Coosa Eagles would hit five three balls. They would have one in that first quarter, so they've hit six threes in this game overall, and they would outscore Chattooga 17 to 14 in the second quarter after Chattooga would outscore Coosa 16 to nine in that first quarter. So as everything shakes out, Chattooga's on top here at home 30 to 26. Uh, but we got a whole nother half to play in a close basketball game. So really looking forward to the second half of this one and also looking forward to catching my breath with one more break and want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, our overall presenting sponsor, also Georgia Highlands College uh, on the video and the radio and radio sponsor, Harbin Clinic. We really appreciate you making it possible for us to be here and cover these games. So we'll send it back to the studio for one more timeout. How about this time we take a four-minute break? We'll come back and we'll get you set for the second half, our final half of basketball from the Tribe Pride Arena for the evening. We'll be back. Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. The Onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self-contained battery is protected by a corrosion-resistant and watertight steel case. This state-of-the-art battery is maintenance-free. And with an industry-leading six-year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your Onward HP Lithium-Ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. For 50 years, 
Georgia Highlands College has been a community that takes charge. Today, GHC is focused on the success of over 6,000 students each year and remains one of the most affordable colleges in the state and country. Home to high-quality curriculum, award-winning student organizations, a championship athletic program, and renowned faculty and staff. At GHC, we have a mission to provide access to an outstanding education, meeting the career needs of the region, and helping our communities thrive today, tomorrow, and forever. Every student we graduate becomes a celebration we never forget. We are more than chargers. We are chargers taking charge for 50 years and beyond. For 50 years, Georgia Highlands College has been a community that takes charge. At GHC, we have a mission to provide access to an outstanding education, meeting the career needs of the region, and helping our communities thrive. Every student we graduate becomes a celebration we never forget. We are more than chargers. We are chargers taking charge for 50 years and beyond. Well, glad to be back as we get ready to start the final half of basketball here from the Tri-Pride Arena for this evening's action. Chattooga on top, 30 to 26 over Coosa. And Chattooga will inbound the ball to start our second half of play with the lead. Jalen Johnson with it. They give it up to Smith up at the top of the key. He'll dribble back to the Chattooga logo at center court. Now dribbles right. Going to pass it over to Sean Lester. Now back up top to Johnson for three, and that's going to be off the rim. Won't go. Battling for the rebound is Kusa's Jaquez Morgan, who gets it, gives it to Curry. Now to Thacker for three on the other end. That one's off the mark from the corner. Rebound taken by Cash Allen. Johnson to Smith. Over to Lester. Lester inside to Johnson. Now to Cash Allen, out to Smith, puts up three, barely catches the rim. Morgan with the rebound, brings it the other way here for the Coosa Eagles, puts up a three-point shot, misses. Rebound is going to be taken by Sean Lester. He was passing it over to Jalen Johnson, who was turned the other way and didn't see it coming. By the time he turned around, it was too late and went out of bounds. So the Coosa Eagles set to inbound the ball. Trailing this one by four points as we've just started our second half of play. Terry Curry with it. He dribbles back to around center court. Now fires it off to the right wing side. There's a three-point look. Knocks it down. And that was Sam Richardson who knocked down that three-point shot. He's got eight points in the game, and that cuts it to a one-point game. Chattooga on top by one. Johnson picks up his dribble, fires it off to Lester on the left wing, who gives it back up top to Smith, drives in, no look pass to Allen, dribbles, kicks it back out to Lester. There's a long three-point look, that one won't go. Here's a, another shot from Lester, he's able to get it on the reverse layup. One of the things that Kusa has been able to do a good job of in this game is not given any open opportunities underneath for Cash Allen. He's been very quiet in this game as far as scoring is concerned. Now, as far as rebounds is concerned, that's another story. They kick it out the left wing side. There's Thacker for three off the front of the rim. Won't go, but Kusa gets another look, and there is Cash Allen, speak of the devil, and he blocks a shot. Chattooga goes the other way. Yeah. 
So Brody Mobs checks into the game for Sean Lester, and Chatuki gets set to inbound the ball, leading it by three, 32 to 29 is your score. They get it into Allen. Allen turns. Passes it over to Mobs. Mobs drives in, kicks it out to L.A. Riley, who scores. That was a great sequence by Chatuga, and they get the finish they were looking for. So they've got the first, well, they've got a couple of baskets here in the third period and lead at 35 to 29. Terry Curry fires it over to Thacker. Now the left wing side of Richardson, the three, it won't go. Rebound's going to be taken on the long rebound by Smith. Loses the handle on it. It's picked up by Sam Richardson to Thacker. Now to Morgan, fakes off Allen, goes in, shoots, misses, gets his own rebound, and that's going to be a foul that's going to be charged against Chatuga. So we're going to see Morgan going to the free throw line. They got Brody Mobs on that one. So again, Jaquez Morgan at the free throw line shooting two. He's been there once before in this game, knocked down his two free throws in the first quarter. Morgan spins the ball around in his hands, dribbles a few times, takes deep breath, spins it around again, and shoots. Makes the first free throw, gets ready for the second. Really nice touch on his free throw shooting. 34 to 30. Chatuga still up, but now only by four. This would cut it to three if Morgan makes this next free throw. It sinks them both. On the way. Knocks that one down. He's four for four from the charity stripe. That'll make Coach McFather pretty happy. 34 to 31, your score. Chatuga on top by three. We have a timeout on the floor. Let's take one as well. Let's step out for 30 seconds. Chatuga will feed the inbound pass into Damian Smith, give it back to Johnson. They pass it back and forth a couple of times before they go across the timeline. They give it to Allen. He gives it out to the left wing side to Mobs, trying to get Smith open for a three-point shot. They lob it up to Johnson, who goes in to try to get the jam, and he gets teed up as he hangs on the rim, and the Kusa fans on this side are elated. <laughs> So Kusa with a real opportunity right here. Of course, they're going to send Jaquez Morgan to the free throw line. He's 100% four for four from the free throw line. And again, the technical foul on Jalen Johnson hanging on the rim. Morgan's first free throw is on the way and good. Five of five from the charity stripe. He'll get ready for another one. And then obviously Kusa will have possession of the basketball after this free throw. So Morgan takes another hard look at the basket. He looks dialed in, man. Looks super comfortable at the free throw line. And he makes another one. That's six in a row for Jaquez Morgan. And he's got 14 points in this game. As a matter of fact, Morgan leads all scorers in the game right now. He's got 14, and Johnson for Chatuga has 13. Curry with it. Cusa trails by one. 34 to 33 is your score. Kusa with the basketball. They feed it down low to Morgan. He gets ready to post up. Jalen Johnson peels it away from him and steals it. They give it to Allen. Now back to Johnson across the timeline. He goes. Ball's loose. Goes out of bounds. It's last touched by the Kusa Eagles. Nope, they reversed the call. It's coming back to the Eagles. It was out on Chatuga. So Sam Richardson's going to feed it in to Terry Curry. Curry will bring it up the floor with Kusa trailing by one, 34 to 33. Curry across the timeline, gives it off to Richardson, puts up a jump shot, that's short. Rebound's gonna be taken by Allen. Allen doing a great job on the boards tonight here for the Chattooga Indians. Of course, he does have a decided advantage. What is he, 6'8", something like that? They feed it in to Allen, good basketball player. 
And he travels. So that's going to be a turnover for Chattooga. Coos is going to get the ball back. And I'm loving the crowd enthusiasm for this basketball game. Of course, it should be. It's a one-point game. But these fans are really giving a lot of energy to these teams. They're into it. Curry to bring it across the timeline. Dribbles right. He's going to fire it up top. Now down low, they get it to Morgan. Morgan is going to try to pass, has his pocket picked by Johnson. <clears throat> and the ball gets loose. We're going to have Chatuga inbounding the ball here from the near side on their side of the floor. So Jalen Johnson looking for somebody to get it into. He's going to lob it up for Riley. Ends up in the hands of Smith. Dribbles in, shoots, misses. Ball is loose on the floor. It's going to be picked up by Kusa. Curry's got it. Goes right into the paint. Nice feed and finish. Oh, my goodness. Curry to Richardson. And Richardson knocks one down. That was an excellent pass and a great shot. Great play by the Kusa Eagles. Great teamwork. Chatuga with the ball on the other end, trailing now by one. Kusa up 35-34. to 34. They just took the lead on that last shot by Richardson. There's a three-pointer on the other side. Miss Morgan there for the rebound. Coos is going to bring it up the other side of the floor. Morgan stops around the perimeter, gives it off to Curry. 2.50 left third quarter. Curry up top, dribbles left. Now feeds it up top. They go to the right wing side. Now around to Morgan, fakes off a defender, pass to Curry. Now to Thacker for three. Bounces high off the rim, and the rebound's going to be pulled down by Johnson. So Jatuga's coming back the other way, trailing now by one point, 35 to 34. We got us a game, folks. Don't go anywhere. 2.25 left to go in the third quarter. Brody Mobs with it on the left wing side. They feed it up top to L.A. Riley. Riley, the feed to Johnson. Down low, the shot and in. Johnson with 15 points, leads all scores in the game. And right now, Chatuga up 36 to 35. Checking into the game for Kusa is going to be Aaron Davis. Checking out is Sam Richardson. Wow, what a basketball game. Terry Curry is going to feed it in to Thacker. Now back to Curry. Curry brings it up the floor. Dribbles to the top of the key. Passes it to left wing side. Zion World is in off the bench. Now to Thacker on to Curry. Curry feeds it down low to Morgan. Morgan turns around, shoots, misses, but a long rebound for Kusa. Here's Curry with a nice move inside and scores. Terry Curry. Kusa's up 37 to 36 over Chattooga. A lot of lead changes in this basketball game. Damian Smith with it. Goes to the top of the key. Is going to pass it off to the right wing side of Jalen Johnson. Johnson fires it across the court to Brody Mobs for three. Can't get that one to fall. Does rattle around the rim a couple of times before deciding not to go. Morgan with another board. Gives it off to Curry. Curry works his way around Mobs. Fires to Thacker. Three-point look in and out. Won't go. And the rebound goes to Allen. He'll box out. And Chatuga will work it back the other way. We're officially... Now at the one-minute mark of the third quarter with Kusa up 37-36. to 36. Whistle and a foul is going to be against the Kusa Eagles. Substitutions coming into the game. Curry checks out. Sam Richardson checks in. Also, Joseph Richardson, Zion World, leaves for the bench. So Chattooga set to inbound the ball, trailing by one at home. We've got one minute left of the third quarter. 37 to 36 to score. Mobs with it for Chatuga. The Indians with it at the top of the key. They give it to Smith. Smith drives to the low block. Puts up a shot, misses, but there to help him out. Telly Riley with the rebound. Gives it to Cash Allen. They feed it inside to Allen. Turns around, shoots, and guess what? Cash Allen has his first basket of the game, 38-37, to 37, and that one gives Chatuga the lead back. 31 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Kusa with it. Jacquez Morgan with it. He'll dribble back up to the top of the key and reset the offense for the Eagles. It looks like they're going to battle for the last shot of the third quarter. Kusa trailing by one. Morgan with it. Goes towards the paint, kicks it out to Davis. The shot is up. He misses. 
Rebound's going to be taken by Brody Mob. Seven seconds, not a lot of time for Chattooga. They're up 38-37. Here's Johnson just before the buzzer and a heave at the end of the quarter for Kusa and Thacker, and that's the end of the third quarter. Chattooga, 38, Kusa, 37. Eight minutes to go in the ball game. We'll have it for you after a one-minute timeout. We'll be back. is about getting the experience you're looking for. Whether you want to start your college career, transfer from another institution, or just take a few classes closer to home, Georgia Highlands College has got you covered. Let GHC help you discover what options you have to begin in person, remote, or hybrid classes at a college with one of the lowest tuition rates in the country. Now's your chance to take charge at GHC. Apply now at highlands.edu. Well, we're underway now with our final eight minutes of this basketball game, 38 to 37, and a three-pointer is hit on the other side by Jacquez Morgan and Kusa. Just as I was about to say, Chatuga had the lead. Kusa took it back, 40 to 38 is your score. Kusa on top by two. And we are going to have a whistle. And a foul called against Chattooga, so Kusa's going to get the ball, and they just hit a three from Jacquez Morgan to start the fourth quarter to take the lead. So something to build on here for the Kusa Eagles as they have the lead and the momentum. Thacker. Now they get it to the right wing side to Curry. He'll back up. Now fire it off to Morgan, back to Curry. Curry will dribble back around the timeline. Now gives it over to Thacker. Back to Curry. Kusa Eagles with the basketball and a two-point lead at the seven-minute mark here of this basketball game. Both teams battling it out for an opportunity to play for the region championship tomorrow against Model. There's a long three-point shot. Sam Richardson, who has 13 points in the game, knocks down a three. I think it, well, the score is 42 to 38. Shot on the way, bounces off the back of the rim, won't go. Kusa's got the ball back. Bryson Thacker with it in its hands. Tries to pass it down to Sam Richardson. It won't go. And Chattooga's going to get the ball back, trailing at home by a score of 42 to 38 to the Kusa Eagles. Chattooga will inbound the basketball. They'll get it in to Damian Smith. Smith across the timeline, dribbles right. Now he goes back, circles around, back to the top of the key. They get it to Johnson on the left wing side. Brody mobs with it here for the Chattooga Indians. He'll give it out to Smith. Smith now back up top, back to Johnson. And Jerry Gross, the head coach of the Chattooga Indians, will call a timeout. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to step out for 30 seconds. This is WLAQ. We'll be back. Chattooga takes the inbound pass out of the timeout. They get it down low and banking it in off the glass is L.A. Riley, who now has six points. It's back to a two-point ball game. Kusa up 42 to 40. It was 30 to 26 at halftime in favor of Chattooga. At the end of the third quarter, Chattooga was up by one, and right now Kusa leads by two. 
This has been an excellent basketball game. Chattooga was up 16 to nine at the end of the first quarter. Should have mentioned that earlier. Kusa has the ball stolen away as they try to float a pass out around the perimeter. But a defender got in between the passer and the receiver. And there's a three point shot from Mobs. That one's not going to go. It's off the back of the rim. Johnson dribbles in, shoots, and is able to lay it in. Jalen Johnson, 17 points he has in the game. We're tied up at 42 apiece. So Kusin Chatuga, 42 all. A timeout on the floor. Let's take one as well. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Down, say, hut. Practice doesn't always make things perfect but it gives us some quality family time that can never be replaced. We find time to laugh, time to talk, and time to bond. Onward by Club Car, made for life's most memorable moments. We're back inside the Tribe Pride Arena with five minutes and 25 seconds left of basketball to play for the evening. Kusa and Chatuga locked up at 42 apiece. Kusa with the basketball. They give it to Davis. Davis will dribble back around the timeline. He's going to give it inside to Morgan. Goes in, shoots, misses. And that's going to be a foul call. And that's going to be on L.A. Riley. So going to the free throw line, six for six, is going to be Jaquez Morgan. He has got 17 points in the game and is tied as the leading scorer along with Jalen Johnson for the Chattooga Indians. Free throw on the way, knocks it down. They'll get ready for the next one. He has made seven in a row. Great free throw shooting from Jaquez Morgan. He'll get ready for his next free throw. He must have ice water in his veins because he looks so comfortable at the strike. Shot on the way, <laughs> knocks another one down. Great touch, and he makes eight in a row. Chattooga will bring it up the floor. Now Kusa on top, 44 to 42 after those made free throws from Morgan and a traveling called. And Koos is going to get the ball back. He shuffled his feet around quite a bit in front of the official. You could see it there on the replay, and that's a turnover for Chatuga. And Koos will get ready to inbound the ball. Aaron Davis, the junior, set to inbound the ball, feeds it into the backcourt to Terry Curry. He'll bring it back across the timeline, gives it inside to Morgan, now to Davis. Davis dribbles back, fires it back over to Curry. Curry to Thacker. Thacker is going to go back up to the top of the key, passing it to Curry. They try to get it to Morgan. It's stolen away by Allen. He'll lob it up for Johnson for three and knocks it down. What an unbelievable shot by Jalen Johnson, who now has 20 points, leads all scores, and he looks dialed in, 45 to 44. Of course, he has the whole game. Davis travels. That'll be a turnover for Kusa. Now the... Momentum is totally shifted right back to Chattooga. They lead it 45 to 44. We're at the 419 mark of the fourth quarter. Johnson to bring it up the floor here for the Indians. Picks up his dribble, passes it over to Damian Smith. Now back over to Johnson. Johnson will dribble up top. Now on to Smith. Wide open three for Riley, rather. He misses. Kusa gets the ball back. Curry with it in his hands. Dribbles across the timeline, gives it to Morgan, gets blocked on the three-point attempt by Cash Allen, who bats it out of bounds. Looked like a volleyball spike. Curry defeated in. Chattooga leading at 45 to 44. We've got 3.52 left to go in the game. Johnson steals it away. He dribbles. Down to the right wing side, picks up his dribble, fires another three, and it's in. Whoa! Oh. 
48 to 42. Chattooga back up by four. And as I mentioned, all the momentum on the Chattooga Indian side right now. 334 left. Timeout on the floor. 48 to 44. Chattooga on top. We'll be back in 30. Down. Say hut. Practice doesn't always make things perfect but it gives us some quality family time that can never be replaced. We find time to laugh, time to talk, and time to bond. Onward by Club Car, made for life's most memorable moments. Well, to say that the fans are into this game would be an understatement. These fans are having an absolute ball, and so am I. This is so much fun. 48 to 44 is your score. It's a two on top by four. This is quite a battle. And kind of, to be honest with you, looking at the scores from the previous two matchups between these two teams, kind of expected it would be this way. 325 left to go. Long range three. Oh, my goodness. Bryson Thacker, look at the range on that one. 48 to 47, Kusa just like that cuts it to a one point game. Stolen away, here comes Kusa with an easy run out, layup, and it's good. Sam Richardson with 14 points, Kusa back on top by one. Jalen Johnson, he goes back court. Or it looked like it to me, I guess not. Brody Mobs is gonna float it to Allen. He gets a couple of looks and gets one to go in. So Cash Allen now with four points. 50 to 49, Chattooga on top, 240 left to go. This is what it's all about. Stolen away, here's Johnson, goes in and lays it in. Johnson having a whale of a game. 52 to 49, your score. Chattooga on top by three, and they've got a three-point opportunity with Johnson standing at the free throw line. Man, what a basketball game. So Johnson again standing at the free throw line. If he can knock this one down, it'll make it a two-score basketball game. Shot on the way, and he does. Wow. There are some good basketball players out on the floor. I don't know too many around better than Jalen Johnson. There's a long three-point shot on the other end. Oh, my goodness. Bryson Thacker knocks down his fourth three of the night. Kusa cuts it back to a one-point game, 53-52. to 52. Two minutes and nine seconds left to go in the basketball game. Chattooga with it, down low, Smith off the glass, misses, rebound taken by Mobs. He'll dribble around, feeds it off to Johnson on the right wing side, now they'll reset their offense. Chattooga up by one, 53 to 52 is your score. We have 145 left to go in this basketball game. And I feel like I'm about to pass out. This game is awesome. Smith with it, dribbles to the top of the key, between his legs, into the paint, kicks it out to Mobs, down low to Cash Allen, who banks it in off the glass. Chattooga up by three, 55 to 52, your score. Three-point deficit for the Coosa Eagles. 120 mark of the basketball game. There's Thacker. He's got it tied up. What's the call? Gonna call a jump ball. Possession arrow is going with Chattooga. Jared Gross is appealing to the official. He thought that was just a flat out steal. And a timeout is gonna be taken by the Coosa Eagles. We're gonna take one as well. 116 left to go in the ball game. Chattooga 55.
feel like I need to get somebody to give me a paper bag. I'm going to start hyperventilating here in a second. <laughs> there are a lot of drama in this game, but right now Chattooga up at home, 55-52. to 52. The winner of this game, they will get to play model for a region championship tomorrow at 8.30. And whichever team ends up winning this game and plays model, I think we're going to have another barn burner in that basketball game. Everybody get a good night's sleep tonight. We're going to need it. These teams are certainly going to need it. There ain't no doubt about that. Johnson with it. He's going to pass it over to Smith. Now back to Johnson. Chattooga with the basketball and a one-point lead. Smith goes in. The nice feed down low to L.A. Riley. Knocks one home. That creates a little separation there. 57 to 52. Chattooga up by five. Coos has got to act pretty quickly here. There's a three-point shot on the other end. That one barely catches the rim. Rebound's going to be taken by Smith, and Chattooga is in control of this basketball game right now. Coos is going to have to foul and put Chattooga on the free throw line to have an opportunity to get the ball back, and that's exactly what they do. So, Brody Mobs is going to go to the charity stripe. Chattooga has a 57-52 lead over the Coosa Eagles and are in control of this basketball game currently. But still some time left. We're going to see Chattooga inbound the ball. As actually, Kusa still has some fouls to give. There's a foul on number three, Terry Curry. And Johnson will feed it in to Allen. Now back to Johnson, back up top. And again, Kusa has a few fouls to give here. They will foul again. That's going to be against number 12, Sam Richardson. Chattooga up 57-52, to 35.5 seconds left to go in this basketball game. What an interesting game this has been. They will foul again. And that one's on Bryson Thacker. As Cash Allen gets ready to inbound the ball, is still with one foul left to give. And they will use it up right now in this play. Well, it looked like they would. Smith dribbles around. They foul him. Well, now the Indians will have Damian Smith at the free throw line shooting one and one. And we'll get ready for his first free throw in just a moment. 30.2 seconds left on the clock. Here it is. That's going to be off the back of the rim. No good. So that's a big miss right there. Keeps it a five-point game. Here's Thacker for three. That's going to be short off the front of the rim. 20 seconds left to go in the game. And they foul Brody Mobs and will put him at the free throw line. Foul was on Sam Richardson. And so Brody Mobs going to the charity strike. Trying to make this a six-point ball game. 57 to 52, your score. Chattooga on top by five points. 20.9 seconds left to go in the game. Shot on the way, and he knocks that one home. Brody Mobs now with three points. And he'll get ready for the back end of the one and one. And that makes it, makes it a six-point ball game. And if Brody Mobs can make this one, that's pretty much going to put it out of reach. For Kuse misses, so a little bit of daylight left for the Eagles. They're going to get it to left wing side. There's a three-point look. Missed the shot. Here's the putback for Davis. Misses that one. Curry's got it. He's going to fire it back to Morgan. Puts up a three-pointer. That is a miss, and Mobs gets the rebound, and this is going to be it. Chattooga's going to hang on and win the basketball game. Your final score, Chattooga Indians 58 Kusa Eagles 52, and that's going to wrap up the semifinal rounds here from Chattooga High School. We're going to send it back to the studio for a three-minute timeout. We will run down the scoring when we come back and also let you know about the matchups for tomorrow evening when we come back here on WLAQ. We'll be back.
Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. The Onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self-contained battery is protected by a corrosion resistant and watertight steel case. This state-of-the-art battery is maintenance free. And with an industry leading six year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your onward HP lithium ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. For 50 years, Georgia Highlands College has been a community that takes charge. Today, GHC is focused on the success of over 6,000 students each year and remains one of the most affordable colleges in the state and country. Home to high-quality curriculum, award-winning student organizations, a championship athletic program, and renowned faculty and staff. At GHC, we have a mission to provide access to an outstanding education, meeting the career needs of the region, and helping our communities thrive today, tomorrow, and forever. Every student we graduate becomes a celebration we never forget. We are more than chargers. We are chargers taking charge. For 50 years and beyond, Practice doesn't always make things perfect, but it gives us some quality family time that can never be replaced. We find time to laugh, time to talk, and time to bond. Onward by Club Car, made for life's most memorable moments. For 50 years, Georgia Highlands College has been a community that takes charge. At GHC, we have a mission to provide access to an outstanding education, meeting the career needs of the region, and helping our communities thrive. Every student we graduate becomes a celebration we never forget. We are more than chargers. We are chargers taking charge for 50 years and beyond. Future. Well, we're going to go ahead and run down the scoring from our final game of the evening. Chattooga picks up the win here at home as the number one seed and defeating the Coosa Eagles, a great basketball game. And at the end of the day, Chattooga wins at 58-52, to 52, uh, the final score. But you got to tip your cap to John McFarther and his Coosa Eagles because those kids gave everything they had to that basketball game. And, and certainly had a shot to win it, and unfortunately for the Coosa Eagles came up short. But congratulations to Coach Jared Gross and the Chattooga Indians. They will play model coming up tomorrow for the region championship. That'll be a rematch of, of a game we've seen a couple of times this year. Uh, the first time I think it was a one-point game. The second time it was a three-point game, so it was a one-score game each time. And I would expect that it's going to be a similar situation coming up tomorrow night. So uh, definitely be paying attention to, to that game. It's going to be a tremendous amount of fun. So let's run down the scoring real quick. We'll start with the Coosa Eagles. Two points for Terry Curry. Three points for Zion World. Hit a three off the bench. Two for Josh Dixon. You'd have 12 points from Bryson Thacker. 14 points from Sam Richardson. And the leading score for the Coosa Eagles tonight, Jacquez Morgan, had 19 points. I also want to point out one more time, he had eight free throw attempts in the game, and he made all of them. That'll make a head coach really happy, no question about it. That was really awesome to see that young man hit all those free throws. For the Chuga Indians, they would pick up eight points from L.A. Riley, nine from Damian Smith, six from Cash Allen, three points from Brody Mobs, six points from Sean Lester, and then, let's see, uh, the leading scorer in the basketball game overall was Jalen Johnson 
who had an absolute whale of a basketball game. He would score 26 points and lead all scorers in the game. So that puts a wrap on that. We'll go back and look at the bracket one more time and let you know what we've got coming up for you tomorrow as far as action is concerned. We'll get started at 4 o'clock in the consolation bracket that will determine the three and four seeds for the playoffs. It'll be Dade County and Gordon Central in the girls' bracket at 4 o'clock. Then at 5.30, we'll shift over to the boys' bracket for the boys' consolation, Dade County and Coosa. We'll go head-to-head. -head. That should be a great matchup. And then we will have the championship games to follow at 7 o'clock for the girls' region championship between Fannin County and Chattooga. That should be a real scrap. And the same thing we could say for the boys' championship as well. That'll be the nightcap at 8.30. It'll be model and Chattooga boys. And with that said, we're going to put a wrap on tonight's broadcast. Hope you enjoyed all the broadcasts that we had for you tonight, whether you listened on the radio or you watched at home with the YouTube channel. Make sure to like and follow our Facebook pages and Twitter for WLAQ. And also smash the subscribe button on the WLAQ Sports YouTube channel. For Nathan Patterson, who produced all the video content for tonight, thank you so much, Nathan. This has been a great partnership. We enjoyed uh, working with you tonight. We look forward to working with you tomorrow. For Lynn Butler back at the studio, oh, he does a great job on that end at the radio station. I'm Matt Davis saying so long, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. We'll talk to you tomorrow evening. Stay safe and healthy. Good night.